up everybody we're necrobal here once again starting over once again going to be more I'm going to be trying to be more uh, consistent with my uploading I'm going to be putting up better content and uh, I have the room and the time to do it now I have taken a lot of time and it was a lot of considering to make it where I could feel comfortable in taking a taking time for me and my family I got married today a year ago so it's a first year of marriage down but I got married a year ago today and within a year's time I moved from my little apartment with my wife and took a big shot, a big chance, and uh, started saving. Uh, I just knew that I needed to get out of there because I'm not somebody that could live in an apartment for very long. So after about six and a half, seven months of saving, I got a, I got a house. So I bought this house behind me or I'm buying it and it's a two bedroom one bath little house with a nice backyard so there that will be the new addition so I have my own room for this kind of stuff that will be coming soon once I get it everything cleaned up and settled in there going from a guest bedroom to a office again will be kind of kind of a little bit of a transition but be interesting to start and uh get everything going there um i've also gone through two vehicles since last upload on my last one i went from the white f-250 to a chevy silverado and uh now we're here with my 2009 dodge ram 3500 cummins so it's it's a it's a mess so I'm going to let you all know that now because this is going to be a project truck for me. It's going to be a work. It uh, it runs solid. It's got nice, strong transmission and motor into it. But uh, it, it's rough. It's rough. I bought it off of a... Uh, I bought it off of a uh, pop liner buddy I have and he used it. So it's going to take some time to get it built up and uh, I want to bring you all along and let y'all experience the learning with me because I'm not a Dodge guy, I've always been a Ford guy. So it'll be a new experience to get to figure out how to work on a Dodge and not only a Dodge but a Cummins. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on walking y'all through this. Alrighty, so this is my 2009 Ram 3500 Cummins, like I said. It is a little rough, but it shows potential. The, uh, it's got a lot of aftermarket features on it already and uh, a lot more on the way and um, I want to go ahead and walk you up through it and show you all the things that need to be fixed and the things I'm changing and the upgrades that I've made already and are soon to be making more and tell you a little bit about those so let's go ahead and jump in with the exterior on what's aftermarket on it, I guess. So quite clearly, the ranch hand bumper. This is a 2000 and I want to say he said it was 15. It's a 2015 is when it was bought, but uh, it is a ranch hand. She's solid, but she is rough. Quite clearly, it was worked. Uh, from Louisiana to Western Oklahoma and six years of spent time in both and uh, quite clearly it's been worked so it needs to be uh, worked on a little bit it's got a pretty decent size dent here and it's not just something you can pull out with your hand so uh, I'm gonna have to figure out whether or not I can salvage this which I mean I figure I can but hopefully I can bend that back out and uh, have all this sand blasted down and repainted black. I'd like to see about even going back and getting the original emblem to put back on there. Then it's got a 
don't remember the name of it, but it's got this aftermarket uh, grill insert thing. And uh, I don't honestly think it's made for this truck. There's just a lot of, a lot of error there. I mean, I really don't care for this, the way it fits the truck. So I'm gonna be ordering one. I wanna order one the exact same uh, style though. I want to go with, I haven't decided fully yet, but I do wanna change the color of the truck to a more of a uh, another blue like this a deep dark blue but I want to have more of the sparkle in it because this one's not really all that sparkly so I want a little bit of a sparkle to it and then I want to have this portion here uh, done in the same blue you know match it with the body and have this center part here black and then do maybe a blue head with the black trim here or do the blue here with the black nail heads. I haven't decided there yet. Um, do you want to get some aftermarket headlights for it? It needs new tow mirrors. These ones are kind of beat up. This one's especially bad. Um, it needs a front windshield. It's been cracked. It needs some body taking care of or some body work there and there the bed i really haven't decided yet i want to keep with the flatbed but i think i'm gonna have to swap to a different flatbed honestly it's uh this one here it's i mean it's welded down right now so you're not gonna be able to see unless i yeah you're not really gonna be able to tell a difference but there was a big miller welder here with Two, there's a little bit of a circle there and I'll show you again on the other side uh, there was a big uh, Miller welder on here along with two smokestacks coming out of the sides right here or right over there and right here so uh, it's got holes all right up there this bed's been worked it's got the gooseneck hitch there and then he called it the chummins I don't think I'm sticking with the chummins but he did call it the chummins for the fact of this bed and frame was chopped about two foot so it was chopped two foot and everything was scooted back and redone so he called it the chummins I, I don't think I'm sticking with the name chummins but thought I'd go ahead and give you all the little backstory when I told you that it does have aftermarket rim or uh, tires on them not very good it has an aftermarket I mean it's leveled so, I mean, it's a little bit higher than normal, but I think that's it on the exterior. I mean, it's got pod lights up on top there, and it's got pod lights in the bumper there and on the other side. But I think that's it on the exterior portion of the truck. Um, so, I guess I'll go ahead and show you the interior. This is where it gets kind of rough, y'all. So, it's got messed up on the panel, door panel here. The reflector is gone and it's been worked. This truck is completely, I mean, all the panels are just freaking dirty. There's gunk everywhere in here. And uh, the Hydra Booster, which is right up there, is uh, leaking. So I keep getting uh, steering fluid in here. So I've got to replace that. And then it's got the three switches here. This one and this one were to the two back lights individually, and then you can push here for your fog light, and that kicks on the two in the bottom because they're wired in. But I went ahead and took these two wires off and mounted it on the one switch there, so I could have just both on the one switch instead of the two independents. I then put the 6.2, I think, inch touchscreen. Yeah, 6.2 inch touchscreen in there. Um, steering wheel cover, seat covers. I need to replace the center console. Headliner's not in too bad a condition. It's dirty though, so that needs. I needed to figure something out with that. I'm having. Con I've been contemplating replacing it. Haven't decided yet. Um, once I get the Hydra Boost replaced, there will be a carpet going in here. Um, back seat was pretty dirty I did a lot of cleaning on it got it cleaned up fairly well um, 
once again no carpet he had a bed liner in here at one point so it doesn't look very flattering so i am gonna have to put the carpet in there it's got the storage underneath both sides there um but i, I do want to buy a carpet put in here so it looks better aesthetically um it does have aftermarket door speakers um and it's got a bully dog five stage programmer in it it's got the tow mo uh, trailer controller down there in the floor. And then I'll show you aftermarkets underneath, which is really the main reason I got it. So it is 6 7 Cummins uh, automatic, but it's got the KA Cooler intake on it. It's got a HPP EGR delete along with a Felice uh, fuel delete right down there uh, it has the fast fuel system put on it the Titan fast fuel I believe it is I think's what it said yeah Titan fast fast fuel system um, it's got a full straight pipe a six and a half inch I believe straight pipe back to a 12 inch exhaust tip so, so it's got the uh, Got the bucket hanging down there. It's an axle dump. Which I'll start it up for y'all here in a minute and let y'all hear that. But I uh I have been enjoying the truck. It's a nice truck, it runs really good. Uh everything works on it. It's always nice. But uh it, it's definitely gonna need some TLC to get it back to where she should be. So, there will be a lot of videos up and coming. I think I've got my Hydro Boost ordered right now. So whenever it gets in, I'll be replacing that. Probably making a video of that. Um, I need, when I get the carpet in, I'll probably do a video over that. I don't know, we'll go from there. I uh, do need to run in and grab the keys real quick though. I'll start it up for you. I'll show you some of the inside features that it does come with. Had to go ahead and throw a seat here in. But so it is a it is a nice truck. It works. It does its job. I like the light but it does have a lot of room for improvements. So I'm gonna hop in here and show y'all some of the inside features it has. All right, so it's got way too many miles on it. If I can get to focus, there it goes. But it uh, sadly doesn't have the automatic lights. I wish it does, but uh, Lights turned on up front. I'll show you all that, I guess. Same brand pod lights that are in the rear end. And uh, I'll let y'all hear this startup, I guess. So that hopefully will be enough of a enough of a sound demonstration, I guess. There, but this is the five stage thing. But that there is the 2009 Ram 3500. If y'all have a name suggestion, please comment it below. I don't think we're staying with Chummins unless you guys think it's a great idea. But if y'all have any ideas or requests for a future video, please go ahead and leave it below. 
thank y'all though i hope you've enjoyed this video and the future content that's going to come out uh, if you guys do have any suggestions please leave it below like subscribe and always remember to pack big and spit good